क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंसेप्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स एंड सर्किट ऑफ वाइड बैंड रिजिट फिल्टर सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक filter is basically a circuit which is used for the frequency selection purpose now based on the frequency response the filter is get classified into different types that is one of the type is nothing but the band reject filter in case of band reject filter as its name indicates there is only one stop band and two pass band the stop band is called as rejection band or attenuation band therefore the other name of band reject filter is nothing but elimination filter or attenuation filter now in case of frequency response the two important terms related to filter are nothing but the pass band and stop band frequency response is basically a graph between voltage gain and frequency pass band is that band of frequencies which are passed by the filter whereas stop band are those band of frequencies which are stop or attenuated by filter in case of band reject filter as its name indicates it rejects a particular band of frequency and pass all the frequencies beyond that band therefore in case of band reject filter there are two pass band and one stop band the another important term related to the analysis of filter is nothing but the q factor the q factor is called as quality factor or it is also called as a figure of merit it is defined as the ratio of energy stored by the filter to the energy dissipated in one cycle of operation q factor plays an important role for classification of filter based on the pass band and stop band if the value of q is less than 10 then the type of filter is nothing but wide band reject filter but if q factor is greater than 10 then the type of filter is nothing but narrow band reject filter now let's first understand the frequency response of band reject filter as we know frequency response is nothing but the graph between filter gain and frequency so frequency is plotted on x axis whereas filter gain is plotted on y axis the filter gain can be a output voltage to input voltage now in case of band reject filter two frequencies are required to be defined and they are fh and fl in those band of frequency the stop band is present so the frequencies which are present between fh and fl are get eliminated or attenuated by the filter so in the frequencies from 0 to fh the gain of filter is equals to af at f is equals to fh the gain get suddenly reduces to zero in the range of frequency fh to fl the gain remains zero and that band is get attenuated by filter at f is equals to fl the filter gain is again increases to af so in this way the filter passes frequencies between 0 to fh and above fl the frequencies which are present between fh and fl are get stop or attenuated by the filter now based on the value of q two different types of band reject filter are nothing but wide and narrow band reject filter the value of q plays an important role as it decides bandwidth of the filter higher value of q indicates less value of bandwidth because q and bandwidth having inverse relationship that means q is equals to fc upon bandwidth so as value of q is get increase the bandwidth is get reduced and frequency response gets more and more sharper now let's understand the circuit of wide band reject filter the circuit of wide band reject filter consists of high pass filter low pass filter and summing amplifier and the frequency response of wide band reject filter consists of two frequencies fh fl along with center frequency that is fc this is practical response of wide band reject filter in case of wide band reject filter the stop band is somehow wide as compared to narrow band reject filter but in this case the value of fl should be greater than value of fh if we look at the frequency response properly then we will come to know that the frequency response is basically a combination of frequency response of low pass filter and frequency response of high pass filter so from the frequency response we will come to know that fh is a frequency of low pass filter and fl is a cut off frequency of high pass filter so the value of fl should be higher than the value of fh the another important parameter of wide band reject filter is nothing but the gain 
the gain of high pass filter and low pass filter are required to be same so that we can get a proper response at the output. The value of fc is nothing but a square root of fh into fl. The output of both high pass filter and low pass filter is further given to the summing amplifier as the frequency response is nothing but the combination of frequency response of high pass filter and frequency response of low pass filter. So this is about the circuit and frequency response of wide band reject filter. High pass filter allows only higher band of frequencies and reject all the frequencies below FC whereas low pass filter allows all lower band of frequency and rejects all the frequencies above FC. Here FC value for low pass filter is nothing but FH and FC value for high pass filter is nothing but FL. So when we combine the two frequency response, we will get a frequency response of wide band reject filter. So in wide band reject filter, the frequencies which are present between FH and FL are get rejected and comes under the category of stop band. Whereas the frequencies from 0 to FH and frequencies which are above FL comes under category of pass band. So this is how the frequency response of wide band reject filter is obtained. So I hope you understand the concept of wide band reject filter which consists of one stop band and two pass band. The frequencies which are present in stop band are get rejected whereas the frequencies which are present in pass band are get passed by the filter. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.